done eating breakfast yet. A few more minutes, my friend. But why are you asking me that? It's because I wanted you to take me to work quickly today. Okay, that works. I'll be ready soon. Perfect. But who is ringing? Don't worry, he's probably my friend. He already told me that he would come this morning. Oh okay, okay. You know finally, I think he will take me to work. We will meet at work. See you soon at work. See you Ricardo. So my friend, have you been able to sell the equipment I gave you? Yes, I sold it at a good price, as usual. Where is the money? The money is in my car. Great, you know, as soon as I get to work, I'll have more equipment so we can resell it and share the money. Great! Now we're going to go downstairs and share the money. Now we're going to go downstairs and share the money. Okay, that works. You know, I want to ask you a favor. I am listening to you. Could you drop me off at my workplace please? That way, I will take the opportunity to give you other materials at the same time. Oh yes. I don't believe what I'm hearing. I could never imagine Ricardo stealing the boss's tools and reselling them. Now I understand why his friend keeps coming here. I really need to talk to him as soon as I get to work because what he is doing is very serious. You know, Ricardo, we need to talk. You know, Ricardo, we need to talk. What do you still have to say to me? I overheard the discussion you had with your friend when we were still at home. I could never imagine that you're stealing the company's materials to sell them elsewhere. But why did you do that? You know, the salary that I earn from this job does not allow me to send enough money to my family who is in my country of origin. This is why I am forced to practice the flight that I am doing at the moment in order to be able to provide for my own needs. If the salary we earn here wasn't enough for you, why didn't you think of looking for another job in addition to this one? So you could well win? Have you already forgotten all the goods that the boss made for us? If we have a job in an apartment today, it's thanks to him. He had taken us in when we were nothing at all. This man had taken us off the streets to give us a decent life in this country. And that's how you thank him in turn. It's not only you but you put me in danger too because when the boss finds out about the loss of his materials, he will punish us all. I really don't want to pay the price for your bad deeds. You know, I would advise you to stop stealing company equipment, otherwise, I would report you to the boss and you risk losing this job. Pull yourself together. You don't have the right to talk to me like that. I know what I am doing. If you want, you can also join me on this adventure so that together we can resell some materials and earn much more money than our salary. You will never be able to convince me to take this wrong path with you, for I am a true follower of Christ. I would never do that kind of thing. I'm warning you, if you continue, I will report you to the bosses. I would not allow this little Christian to ruin my business. I absolutely have to find a solution in order to shut his mouth permanently. I will call my friend so that we can discuss this quietly later, during the break. As I told you my friend, that's why I called you. It is essential that you are in this situation, because I would not like the boss to find out what I was doing. Wait, I'll think for a few minutes. I have an idea. What is this idea? We're going to trick him. I guarantee you that in a short time, he will see his life change suddenly. Trust me, he won't be able to ruin our business. All you need to do is ask your boss for permission. You tell him that you will be absent for two days and it will be during this period that my idea will be implemented. You are a genius. Now I have to go back to work. Okay, that works. We will meet again very soon. Okay as I told you boss, I will be away for two days, because I have to go to the other city for my health check. No worries, Ricardo, you can leave. I will make arrangements to find someone there during these two days. Take care of yourself and see you soon. Thanks boss. I am glad I got the green light from the boss. 
now I'm going to move on to the second part of my plan. My dear friend, you do not yet know what awaits you. I have to shut up because someone is coming. Good thing you're here. What is going on? You know, I'll be gone for two days. I had just asked the boss for permission and he had just granted it to me. What do you have where are you going? Have you forgotten that brothers and sisters in Christ should come and pray with us at home today? Oh, I completely forgot about it. I am so sorry. I won't be able to be there. It doesn't matter. I'll do the prayer alone with the brothers in Christ. Okay, take care of yourself. Now, I will go and find the materials that I have hidden this morning in order to trap this little guy. Now everything is in place. What will the next step be? We're going to hide in my car after this brother in Christ leaves. We'll call the police anonymously to report it. That way, the police will bring the box with the tools that we had hidden in his things. You are a genius. Without you, I could never give him a good correction. He has sought and he will find. Follow us, sir, please. Where are you from, sir? And who are you? You'll know later in the car, sir come on, let's go. Yes, let's go. So you were working with delinquents selling them drogue and who you were also stealing your boss's materials? No, but who did you tell you all this? I am not a thief. Shut up, otherwise everything you say will be turned against you. I could never imagine that your plan would succeed perfectly like this. Oh. <laughs> what are you laughing at like that? It's the way he cried when the policeman told him to get in the car. He cried like a baby. That's exactly it. Now the field is clear. Starting tomorrow, you will resume your work and we will continue our business. What? I can't show up for work until I've taken the two days of vacation. You will tell your boss that you finally did not go for your health check anymore. Because the main thing is that we can make money with the tools that you will bring back from the business and that I will resell. Okay. I had just been informed that the police had arrested one of my employees because of drug trafficking and the theft of my work tools. I will quickly go to the police station to clear things up. He's going to pay a lot of money for it, this employee. I am very disappointed of you, Raphael. I could never imagine that you were in dirty business. Plus, you even stole my work tools. I gave you a job. You were fed, lodged and laundered and that's how you thank me. You're going to pay me dearly. If you did this to me, you're going to die behind bars. Trust me, I'm even going to get you expelled from this country. You betrayed the trust I put in you. How could you be a Christian, and act like that? Boss I am innocent. I know I will go behind bars for what I didn't do. I know that you are an influential man in this country. Please do your research before expelling me from this country. I am a Christian and I am loyal to my God. I know that my God will enlighten you one day and you will discover everyone who is at the base of this operation. Shut your mouth, little thief, and go back to your cell. Now the field is clear for me. I am going to make a lot of money thanks to this last operation I am going to do and then after I will quit my job to go enjoy my money with girls in another city. Eternal my father, I am coming to you. I know that I have the assurance from you that if I ask you for something according to your will, you will give it to me. Please, my God is coming to my aid in this difficult situation that I am going through. Lord hears my prayer and listens to my supplications. Redeem me in your faithfulness, in your justice. The enemy is pursuing my soul. My spirit is broken within me. My heart is troubled in my breast. I remember the days of yore. I meditate on all of your work. I am reflecting on the work of your hands. In your hands, I have my soul. My mind is consumed. Don't hide your face from me. I will be like those who go down into the pit. Let me hear your kindness first thing in the morning, because I trust in you. Deliver me from my enemy's hell. May your good spirit lead me to the right path for the sake of your eternal name. Restore life to me in your justice. Remove my soul from distress. Deliver me from the trap that the enemies have set and glorify your name in my life. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. 
Amen. Really? I am tormented in my mind. I think Raphael is innocent, because he is a very helpful and hardworking boy. I had a lot of respect for him because he is dedicated to his work. Starting today, I will start doing investigations to find out a little more about what happened. What do you want? I would like to know if there was anything new in Raphael's file, because he had been in prison for three months. Yes, there is something new. I had just received a call from the commissioner and he told me that it was Ricardo and his accomplice who was behind the theft of the company's materials. And yes, Raphael was innocent, he was really tricked by these two individuals. I really regret locking him up all these months. Today, even Ricardo and his accomplice will be arrested. Oh my god, why do you forget me? I have been locked up in this place for several months for what I did not do. You are my redeemer. I know that you will rise last to free me. I am clinging to you. I sincerely wanted to congratulate you because I am very happy with what we won in this operation. Thank you now I'm going to leave this city and start a new life elsewhere. Wouldn't you make the program to go visit Raphael in his cell before leaving? No, not at all. All he has to do is die in his cell. What is going on? It looks like the police are here to arrest us. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. We're cooked. We won't be able to get out of here. Young man, I have come to announce that you can take out. What? Investigations revealed that you were innocent. Thank God. Your boss is here and he is waiting for you. Okay. I am so sorry that I wrongly locked you up. It was Ricardo who was stealing the company's tools. It was he who set the trap against you. Currently, he is arrested with his accomplice. I hope you'll forgive me one of these days. I don't blame you, boss. I bless the name of the Lord, because it was he who allowed hidden things to be revealed so that I could have my freedom. You are truly a child of God. Starting today, I am giving you the position of manager. You can continue to work with me. Thank you very much, boss. Did you see what you did? It is because of you that we are here today. Why weren't you vigilant during the operation? You're going to pay me dearly for it. You're talking to me like that. Pull yourself together quickly, otherwise, you will get very hot in my hands. You are my accomplice, and you are also the culprit. You deserve to be here with me. If I knew things were going to turn out like this, I shouldn't have worked with you. And you it's thanks to me that you have the money that is currently in your bank account. If you open your mouth again, I promise you'll get a taste of this nice little punch. Raphael, I am very happy that you are here again. Stay as you are and you will go far in life. Thank you very much, madam. I am also very happy to see you again. Are you proud of your new job? Of course, I bless the name of the Lord for this grace he has given me. Why did you keep giving thanks to your God? Because he's the one who'll do everything in my life. Without him, I am just nothing. Now I'm going back to my office. All right, madam. My soul blesses the Lord and does not forget any of his benefits. You are the one who forgives all our iniquities, who heals all our diseases. It is you who delivers our life, who crowns us with kindness and mercy. It is you who satiates our old age, who makes us younger like the eagle. The Lord does justice. You give rights to all the oppressed. You manifested your voices to Moses, deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord you are merciful and compassionate, slow to anger, and rich in kindness. You don't keep your anger forever. You do not treat us according to our sins, you do not punish us according to our iniquities. But as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is your kindness for those who fear you, as far away from the east is from the west. So far you distance us from transgressions. Like a father has compassion for his children, God has compassion of those who fear him, because you know what we are made of. You remember that we are dust, dust. Man, his days are like grass. It blossoms like field flowers. When a wind passes over her, she is no longer in the place she occupied no longer recognizes her. But the goodness of the Lord endures forever for those who fear them and his mercy for the children of their children. Oh my God! be exalted and glorified forever and ever. I pray it in the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 
And that's it my brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you like this video, do not hesitate to like, comment on it and share it with those around you so that only one soul can be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless and protect you.